Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel! It's me again, Will, and I have the will to help. It's been a couple of months since we started our classes, but in this specific vlog, I will be sharing to you about my learnings in my empowerment technology subject focusing on information and communication technology, also known as ICT. ICT is such a broad topic. It includes its tools, computer, interactive media, websites, and cyber crimes. In short, anything that deals with technologies. Luckily, our teacher, Mr. Florenda Damaso, made our class fun and informative. As a student that has been using technologies, this subject definitely widens my knowledge, especially about proper usage of my social media accounts and on how to secure them properly. Day after day, new technology and innovations transform our modern world into a new realm of possibility. ICD has a huge influence in our society, the environment, and the future. And it touches every corner, every area of our life. However, we must keep in mind that in every game comes an equal and opposite cost. It is up to us, the users, to decide how we will employ its benefits and avoid possible drawbacks. But don't worry, that's precisely why I am here today to teach and raise awareness about ICD. Let's start with the good side. Since I am a student, first is our access to schooling such as distance learning and online tutorials has developed. Virtual reality, interactive multimedia, and novel teaching methods are all gaining its popularity. To cut the chase, we wouldn't be able to complete our education in the midst of a pandemic if it weren't for the ICD tools. Second is sharing of data. Perhaps the most important impact of ICD on individuals has been the tremendous increase in access to knowledge and services that has been accompanied the expansion of the internet. However, the use of ICD to access information has opened up new avenues for entertainment and relaxation, as well as the ability to make contacts and develop relationships with the people all over the globe. Another important consequence of ICD is that it gives people access to innovative technologies. Take smartwatches, for example, Back then, watches are solely for the purpose of keeping track of time and of what day and month it is. But how about right now? You may now see your blood pressure, heart rate, and breathing rate, and among other things. Now, let's tackle about its bad sides. First is less personal contact. Working from home is usually seen as a positive effect of employing ICD. However, there may be disadvantages as well. Most individuals require some form of social connections in their daily lives. And they may feel lonely and alienated if they do not have the chance to meet and chat with others. Second is decreased physical events. As a downward turn impact of ICD, users may choose for a more sedentary lifestyle. It can be caused by obesity, heart disease, or diabetes. Many nations have workplace regulations in place to prevent problems like repetitive strain injury and eye strain, but lack of physical exercise is rarely listed as a health risk. Third, the loss of a person's job is one of the most catastrophic repercussions of ICT. This has economic and social consequences such as a loss of money, prestige, and self-esteem. Job losses can be caused by a number of factors, 
including the automation of manual processes. Robots may, for example, replace employees on an assembly line. A smaller number of persons who can accomplish the same amount of work are replacing several personnel. Lastly, the use of a computer as an instrument to promote criminal purposes such as fraud, trafficking, and child pornography and intellectual property, stealing identities, or invading privacy known as cybercrime. People of all ages are at danger of visiting various pornographic websites due to the ease with which they may access them. As a consequence, kids will be exposed to it from an early age and will be misinformed. Definitely, ICD made our life easier, but these technologies could also be used by the wrong hands. That's why we need proper knowledge about it. Some people benefit from ICD, while others do not. It could be useful in a variety of ways, but it also has the potential to be dangerous. All we can do now is to utilize it carefully and wisely. That's it. Thank you for watching, guys.